What's good, y'all? Your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, I actually planned on making this video talking about my, I guess, my opinion on what happened um, with the whole Ryback uh, situation on his podcast this morning. Shout out to everyone that was a part of the live stream. Uh, it was a very interesting one. Um, but before I can even turn on the camera and record this video, I go on Twitter. And I want to show you this. Let me make myself smaller because I want y'all to see this. Uh, that's from the chat earlier. I forgot to mute that. But yeah, shout out to everyone that was in the stream. Let me show you this. Look at this. Ryback blocked me. I was literally about to make my video talking about my experience with, with Ryback and, you know, hearing his perspective. And he blocked me. And what's funny is, before he blocked me, he followed me. So I followed him back, and within maybe 20, 30 minutes, he blocked me. That shit's crazy. <laughs> that That's crazy, bro. He legit blocked me. Now, the only thing I can think of that maybe he felt some type of way, I'm not going to lie to you. If you watch the stream, it was funny. I'm, I'm being honest, and I was actually listening to him as much as I possibly could, but the chat was hilarious. I'm not going to lie to you. Guys were hilarious, and to be honest, I didn't really get a chance to, I guess, have the conversation with him talking about why he, you know, felt the way he felt about my videos. We I tried to go into that conversation, but ultimately, he would kind of cut me off and then just start talking about stuff. And given his reasonings about stuff that really didn't line up with the whole initial reason to have having me on the show was to talk about the videos. Like he started going down a tangent and it was just one of those things where it's like, well, I, hey, I'm, I'm, you know, I, I want to be able to say some things, but, you know, I couldn't because he just kept talking. And I don't know if I was a, a voice to, you know, uh, uh, an ear to listen to. You know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all were calling me uh, therapy with Ross. <laughs> I don't know if that was that was the case, him just venting to another content creator. Cool. That's awesome. But once again, I didn't even really get a chance to dive in to potentially what his issues was with me and, and my point of view on certain things. I was able to talk about it a little bit, but then he was just kept talking and kept talking and kept talking and it's like some of the stuff that he's saying has some great points but it still doesn't change the fact that ultimately i think this whole interaction came down to literally him feeling that those videos my reactions to certain videos and and the titles and all this other stuff was hurting his brand and i was trying to get him to understand your brand is fine me saying what I said does not hurt your brand. You, I, I'm being honest with you. I'm not, I'm not, I don't have that type of weight in the in, in the community where whatever I say can ruin somebody. No, you are, He lists off his accolades and stuff that he's doing outside of WWE. He's making more money than he ever has before. Okay, and that's awesome. That's good. But at the same time, it's just one of those things where it's like you gotta if you're in this space. You got to understand certain people, you know what I'm saying, you know, will feel some type of way or, you know, they'll have their opinions on certain stuff. And it's just one of those type of things where I just felt like, like, you got to be able to take the good with the bad. And what I had said, even in the past, you know, as a joke, yeah, you could say that maybe was hurtful, whatever the case was, but I wouldn't have taken it that seriously because he's doing fine. So I don't know. This was just a a very very uh, weird way to end off the interaction because apparently I, I guess on his live he was saying he would like to have me back, and then I guess somebody must have clipped some of the stuff or said, "Oh, he's talking about you." To be honest with you, I really wasn't talking about my chat was and my homie was, and I was just laughing because it was funny. I'm just being honest. I the it's funny when you're trying to actually have a conversation and then someone cuts you off and then they just go on and they go on and some of the stuff he was saying was pretty you know pretty poignant to his point but at the same time i'm just like 
All right, so I'm literally just here to listen to you talk. And if that's what it is, that's what it was supposed to be. Cool, I ain't tripping. It is what it is. Get your truth out. Because a lot of stuff I didn't know that he really was dealing with. But yeah, man, I don't know. This is, this was very, very interesting. I did not expect him to follow me, then block me <laughs> within like the same hour. I don't know, man. That, yeah, hopefully he doesn't take it personally. Once again, those videos and reactions definitely, I promise you, definitely doesn't hurt your brand. I, I like <laughs> you good, bro. You still doing your thing. It it's it, it you good, bro. <laughs> I don't I don't go go like thinking, you know what I'm saying? Today I'm gonna try to shit on Ryback. I I don't care. Like, yes, your name may get some views, and this is definitely gonna get some views because how recent and current it is, but a week from now, nobody's gonna be talking about this. That's just what it is. Content keeps coming out, content keeps rotating. Nobody's gonna be talking about this from a week from now. It may be a pass, uh, like a mention, but it is what it is. So I'm wishing Ryback nothing but the best. Don't send him no hate. It is what it is. If he wants to block me, cool. I'm I'm not. It's not a big deal. It's funny because I still really didn't get a chance to actually dive into what the the issue really was. Um, but you know, it was him. It was him to vent. He he wanted to vent and get stuff off his chest. So, but yeah, I wish nothing but the best for Ryback. <laughs> hopefully he continues to keep doing his own thing man and we'll just leave it at that honestly this is i'm guessing he did not like <laughs> what uh people in the chat were saying and me laughing because it was funny i'm not gonna lie to you he started going down a whole tangent and we i thought we were gonna be just talking about his initial initial issues with uh my previous reactions but uh i'm not gonna go on a let me make 20 videos about Ryback. I don't want him to think I'm fucking trying to take down his his brand and 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 tarnish his name. I'm not even going to get into that. Um you know, <laughs> this will probably be the last time I talk about him on that on on this platform unless something is said about me and I receive the information. We'll go from there, but I'm keeping it chill, keeping it peaceful. It is what it is. It's all good. Comment down below. Let me know, man. What's your thoughts? Y'all thoughts on this entire situation, man. This whole interaction with me and Ryback. What's your, what's your thoughts and opinions on it? If you guys were able to check out the live. The live is on my um, YouTube page. For those who are wondering why the audio is delayed. It's because I wasn't talking through this microphone. Because it was creating an echo. I was talking through my headphones to the uh, Twitter space. That way you can, you can hear my audio through there. But it's going to be a delay from when I was actually speaking the words. So that's what it is. That's the only reason why I was like that. But I appreciate all the love support. Road to 150K. And I'm still going to be the YouTube wrestling champion of the world. Appreciate y'all keeping me. See you next one. Peace.